so where is our main requirement auto population requirement so this auto population requirement is what is when employee name value changes then automatically get those values correct so uh, So what this one is doing? Okay. Whenever the script, what this auto population script will do is, okay. Whenever the user name changes, then get it, and then set it. This is the one it will do. So now just just check it. So it worked na no? everyone you see it's working yes it's having a script include also let me off the script include it have both okay but everyone understood it right yes or no okay yes. now here one challenge will be there okay what is the challenge is right when you have used to get Yesterday, which script we written no? Okay. Any script is fine. Give me one second, man. Let me clear it. Now you see here, okay, only one script I kept it so that I don't see all these messages and all nonsense, okay. So, hmm, so if I change the value, okay, automatically get the, get the backend values, okay, and then fetch it, okay. So auto population script we kept, we seen it, right. Now, what is the topic here is, sir, Whenever you use get reference, get reference will get the things from where? The reference table. The reference record which is there in the server. That means it is getting the data from server. Correct? Everyone here? Yes. Yes. So whenever it is getting the data from server, okay, what if it delays? server getting going to server and getting the data correct so if it is delays what happens delays of getting the data if it delays what happens okay so carefully see here okay <clears throat> it is actually is not the case all the time but especially in phase 3 we will see catalog line scripts Catalog client script is also 100% almost same like general client script. There also you use catalog script only, same function, same thing. But you use it in a different form, different activities. That time you see this issue very commonly. But here we don't see, okay. But anyone seen an issue, I think someone seen this issue, said, sir, I written glide, glide, get reference and it didn't work, sir. Then I said, uh, use callback function then they tried and then it started working anyone ha it, it happened to anyone in our batch no right it didn't happen correct okay so what is my point here is okay uh here the emp gets the data of this employee record from server am i right yes my everyone Yes or no? Yes, okay. When it is getting the data from server, now let's say, think like this, okay. Between the execution of one after the other, okay, this line to this line, okay, execution time between this line, line number six, line number seven, 
how much time it the system will take how much time system will take maybe just assume like one second can we assume one second yes yes so one second one second one second one second so total script five seconds tuck 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 actually it is very less okay microseconds but let it be okay now the question is sir this one emp this line is going to server and then getting the data and then using here na? so what if the travel time will take little delay sir it can be having a delay also, correct? The travel time can have a delay, right? Yes. It needs to go to the server and get the data, correct? Sometimes it can be delay also, right? Yes. yes. So what if it takes two minutes, two seconds? So instead of one second, if it takes two seconds, okay, that means the okay the time of execution between these two is one second, but the traveling time it took is two seconds. So if it, that is the case, will this work or will this fail? You are understanding it. Understand my words, okay? This is where the confusion part is. Sir, you said between these two, the running time is one second. And this is taking two seconds. So, until it comes and then gives this value, will this line wait, sir? No, I don't wait. There is no wait in the execution of script. It will run tuck, 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 tuck. Okay, if this value didn't come means you see undefined here. I don't know what is EMP. That's what uh, you see in the form. You see undefined, 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 you see. That means no value. Okay. So, it is traveling back by the time it is passed. So, that time no value here. Is this happen to anyone when you are trying to get reference? No, correct. But if, it, if you write it the same thing in catalog transcript, no maximum it will happen. Okay, we will touch that. Okay. So my point is, okay, is there any way where you can make this script to wait, okay, until the time it gets the value from server? Right now, this, this won't wait. Okay. As this one won't wait, there might be chance that it may not work sometimes. This is the situation. Everyone understood the situation, Ma? <laughs> Everyone understood the situation? Others? Only one person said yes. Remaining people? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, in this case, how you can able to do, sir? Okay. In this case, as per service no best practices, okay, first of all, what are the service no best practices is they will say don't use get reference. Service now is forcing us to not use get reference. Okay. Why? Okay, they are started seeing many issues. Okay, so so if you don't use get reference, then how can you do the same script sir how you do the same requirement if you don't have if we don't have get reference how can we do this requirement script include okay script include very good okay first thing now second thing even if you use get reference okay always follow callback function
So what is the callback function here is very carefully see the same script I will do using callback function. Okay, so what I will do is I will say pop. Okay, then pop means population, right? Auto population. So what I will do is function. Okay, pop of EMP. And then I will put it like this. So callback function is calling a function inside the other function. That's it. That is the meaning of callback function. Okay. So here I have a function called pop. Right. And this is the main function. Okay. So I have already one function. Inside the function I put one more function. And to execute this function I need one value. What is the value I need it ma? To execute the pop function, what value I need it? What value I need it to execute the EMP? EMP. Okay. So until you we don't get that EMP, no? Okay. This one will not start. That means here we are making the script to wait. You are understanding it? Okay. So let's say, sir. Okay. This one is running, sir. And it took five seconds, sir. Okay. So you are saying this one will not go ahead, sir, up till five seconds? No, it will not go. Why is because this to execute this function, it need EMP value. So it will wait for five seconds. Then after six sec, after fifth second only, it will start taking it up. So there is no chance of missing this one. Understood my everyone? Everyone understood? Yes. Okay. yes. So this is the meaning of yes. the callback function. Okay. This is the callback function. Okay. That we write it for get reference normally. This is the syntax also. First thing. Okay. Now wherever you have something called wait, it always suggestible to write callback function okay so now that is the reason when you go to your script include script okay you remember now where is our script 41 where did I remember? okay so I'm here right so if you remember your script include script now that script include script to be written in a callback function did you remember now I said I, I will explain that later so what is the point of writing the function here? You understood ma? So it will wait for the response. This is the response that is coming from server. Until it, it gets the response from server, this one will not execute. So there is a callback function here. Yes? Everyone understand it? That time I told, okay, I will explain it later. Without callback function also we can execute this one. So like this we can execute it. I told, correct? This is no without callback function. Okay. But with callback function, this one. Why we need callback function here, sir, in script include? Because the data is coming from server to client. What if it delays? Then if it delays now, then here it is nothing. Here it is nothing, and here is nothing, and here is nothing. Nothing is nothing. Everything you see a different results. So, as it needed some time, we always keep a callback function. If something is getting the data, okay, we try to keep always callback function so that it will not miss anything. Okay, you see the proper results. Understood, everyone?